he was a character with a lot of intent and focus. To sell the Frostworm's scale and size in the cinematic, we really tried to slow her movements down a lot and keep them linear. We don't really have anything to reference from in the real world, so we looked at a lot of birds and uh, dinosaur movies and uh, you know things from real life like Komodo dragons and uh, studied the way they walk. We knew that animating a whole undead army would be quite challenging. How we decided to tackle this problem was we started off by animating about a dozen different animations. We then duplicated these animations across a large number of undead soldiers and we offset their animations and scaled a few keys, and made, made some things different uh, so that each undead character would have a little bit of their own unique personality. We brought in uh, professional actors and we had other animators and people in, in the department act out undeads cheering and uh, turning. Ultimately, it was best if we just kept things subtle so they could read on the screen. My name is Xin Shen. I'm the lead finisher for the World of Warcraft. The Wrath of Lich King. So I'm going to briefly talk about the finishing team that what we do at Blizzard's in my department. So in short, we are directly responsible for assemble all the assets from all different departments. For example, animations, models, effects. Our responsibility is to put all these things together, do what it takes to balance it, to make it artistically very intriguing to watch through lighting, uh, through compositing, through all different techniques, and eventually uh, becomes the final frames that we delivered to the audience. So, in terms of the effects for the dragon, we know from the beginning the effects for the dragon will be probably the mo one of the most daunting and exciting effects that we'll ever created for the whole piece. The director and the 2D concept artist first sit down and uh, do a lot of 2D concept work, try to mock up the look of the effects and the dragon. Then once that's done approved, we give that concept to the effects team and they will basically try to reproduce that look in the 3D world, but in motion. And the effects team did all sorts of tasks working with millions of particles to try to make the dragon effects looks as exciting as possible. For this cinematic, we do use a lot of matte paintings, but background stuff. The reason for that is basically due to the limited time and human resource we have and the skill and the complexity of the whole 3D set. Practically, it's almost impossible to really build the whole set uh, to the level of details we require here. Instead, what we do is we build a rough 3D set. We call it proxy environment models. And then we do 3D projections. It's based on the force perspective, uh, optical illusion that human eyes have. The limitation for that is it only works from a specific camera angle. The way we are doing things here in terms of putting a shot together is could be roughly break down to three big groups. One is the character, all the layers related with the character. That's one group. And then there will be an environment any matte paintings or 3D set pieces, and also the effects group, which is include anything effects related, obviously, uh, hairs, furs, breath, smokes, anything you can think of, particle effects, you know, snows. Well, each of those group usually contains many different layers. For example, the character group includes the different layers to allow us to have total control over the look of the character. 
So hopefully that gives you some insight on how we do things here at Blizzard Cinematics. It's a great deal of fun and hard work to get this on the screen. We all enjoy it very much and hope that everyone enjoys watching it as well.